how much fun this will be. I'll back to have some sort of shield on him. Your cannon won't work. Fortunately, I've upgraded your plate with a missile launcher. Hold down the L1 button to target the The shields are down! Nail that guy before they come back up! Here you. Take this to your face. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him. Let me just lock onto you, and there we go. I don't know why, but the cursor is slightly to the left. I don't know what's up with that. It's kind of glitching a little bit, which is weird. I think that actually happened earlier in the game where something was glitching similarly, but I can't remember what it was. It's all good, though. The game is still playing fine. It, like, the image is to the side, but it looks like it still plays the same. Ah, great. I was way too low on health after the cannons. I wish I got a health re- I wish there was a way to either refill your health or I got a health refill. Well, refill. Sort of a health the refill whenever I uh, finished the, one part of the mission. But anyways, like, the image of it is a little- Great, that doesn't count as a kill for me. The image of it is a little to the side, but the actual cursor is still where it originally was. I gotta slow down. I gotta slow down, possibly grab the wall. Get that bat. That one didn't die? Get out of here. You don't hit each other, that's not cool. There we go. Anyways, this mission is pretty easy when they don't murder each other. Flip, please. Alright, where are some more bats at? There they are. Get up here then. Yeah, cool. That's that's cool, bro. Just keep killing yourselves and not giving me credit. If they murder, if they commit seppuku, that should count as one more dead. Like seriously, on my little counter thing. Get it, get it, get it. You are next. We are one-fourth of the way there. This is going to take a while. Time to get number eight right here. No. You're going to be lucky number nine. Don't, okay. It's really annoying because it's not like just a random every now and then thing. They literally kill one another a lot. It's really random. Go down. Thank you. All right, I need more bullets. Where can I pick up some bullets at? I know there's a little stash. Yeah, right there. Like, inside of the thing. There we go. Hey, you. You look like you're next on my list of death. Lucky number 12. I don't think 12 is actually a lucky number, but whatever. And here's unlucky number 13. Although, you know, technically speaking, all of you are pretty unlucky. If I'm being real. Oh, slow down. Lock on. Take it out. Thank you. Please don't murder one another. That one just committed some poo-poo hardcore. Come here, you. Alright. We are nearly done with killing these super bad things. That one's going down. Do -do -do -do. Just, yeah, two more. Alright, good. And this one is going to be 19. I killed it. I hate it when they do that. It's like when a Geodude uses self-destruct or something else you want to catch in Pokemon uses self-destruct. It's so annoying. All right, get you out of here. And you are next. Get him, get him, get him. All right, victory is mine. That's the last of them. Oh boy, here comes the big guns. And by guns, I mean a giant flying whale dragonfly thing covered in robotic junk. Wait, Dr. L just plugged into that monstrosity. Over at Skyward, so good, so nice. Time to develop what it's like to play second fiddle. I am the master here. Sidekick no more. Oh, gee, I wonder who Dr. M could be. That thing is launching sneakers. You'll have to use your missiles to take them out. Save your cannon rounds for Dr. M. It'll work just fine on him. I see you over there. Get out of here. I got time for your shenanigans. Dr. M, I need you to stop existing. Okay, thanks. It is so hard to lock on when the thing is glitched out. I don't know why it's doing that. Come here, you. I see you. Get out of here. Die, M, die. Oh my goodness, I'm doing so much damage. sure what he just said. It was a little muffled. But anyways, I gotta be careful not to get hit by this right now. Dr. M? It's a good
good thing that my uh, cannons are maxed out. Like, I apparently never run out of ammo. Because that would be really annoying if I did. Can you please stop doing whatever this is? I just took damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm one hit from death, and I've got him at, like, half health. This is really annoying. Especially with my cannons glitched out for some reason. Don't touch me. I think it actually touched me again. No! I don't want to have to restart. Stay away from me. Maybe I should have actually tried to go on straight in the middle of it. Maybe that would have been better for me. I don't know. Oh, we're doing this again? Okay, come back, please. I want to talk to you about uh, your taxes. Yeah, yeah, your taxes. Oh, cool, these things. I love these things. Get all those out of my face. Crap, he's shooting out three of them at a time, like, super fast. Die, 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 die. Lock onto these while I'm firing. Oh, no, oh, no. I can't take a single hit, which is what really sucks here. Take out these, and I should be able to hit them enough to get them out of this form. Or this might actually go until it's dead. Please die. Please die. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Never mind. I got it just in time. Thank goodness. He commands it. This is with Dr. M right now. He's weirding me out. With all this puppet talk. All right, I have to be very, very careful here because I'm not in the middle of it again, which I'm actually glad. I'd rather do this slightly from the outside. It seems safer to me. Don't you dare go into a nosedive right now, Slot. Just got to get him from the side. Got to blindside him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Kill him, kill him. I cannot take a single hit. I have to be super careful. Come on. Got him. Thank you. Bentley, I've got this. I'm coming for you, dragonfly whale thing. It's all over. It's a good thing that I never take fall damage ever. It's strong, just like your father. You don't know anything about me or my father. Really? Who let you in on the secret of this place, eh? Was it my old pal McSweeney, perhaps? McSweeney worked for you? This was all a setup to get the cane. No, no, no. Once upon a time, he and I worked together for your dear old dad. My father wouldn't have run with a guy who tried to steal from the Cooper vault, let alone attempt to kill his son. Time does strange things to people. Gus, the real leader of your old dad. Bentley. Whatever. We're friends. Equal. Then why is it called the Cooper Gang, you self-centered egomaniac? That's enough! <laughs> Time to meet the past. You there? Yeah, pal. I'm about to head inside the vault, and I want you and Murray to come with me. We're a team, a family. We should do this together. Okay, be right up, partner. Guys, we'll have the Panda King give the band a boost. Stand clear, Sly. We're about to get awesome. The fuse is lit. Buckle up, Bentley. We're about to fly. Panda King is such a pyromaniac. Also, he's as big as the van. Holy cow. We're never doing that again. Never. All right. We're at the final stage of the game. There are like three portions to this last mission, I believe. 15% away from 100%. So close. The van's just chilling. Well, 
this place is amazing! Yeah, it's gotta be like at least a hundred years old. An archaeological marvel! Glad you boys are impressed, because it looks like I'll have to go on from here alone. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. Hmm, could be dark in there. This was another point where we could have used the 3D goggles, but Senzaru wisely removed that function from Sly 3 in this uh, HD collection. My ancestors sure knew how to decorate. Nothing but big piles of gold. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Each uh, there is a each section. We'll call them sections of the Cooper Vault has a little shrine to one of the Cooper ancestors who added to it. This is, I believe, slight in common who was the first of the Cooper Gangs, and you can press circle on it to hear some backstory on him. No subtitles or anything, so I'm going to stand here and be quiet and let Sly talk about the Ancestor, then we'll continue on. This place was started by Sly and Common II. He built his fortune in the employ of the Great Pharaohs. That must have been around 1300 BC. A long, long time ago. 1300 BC. Dang. The Coopers stretch back so far. And the fact that they can track their lineage that far is just awesome. Go, go, go. And yep, as you can see, this place is completely built for a Cooper who has mastered the majority, if not all, of the Cooper abilities. Who do we have next? Sir Galatha, the Knights of the Cooper Order. Honorable Knight and Cunning Thief. Yep, good old Sir Galatha. I thought they actually went a little more in-depth than they are, but you know, whatever. It's still nice. Sir Galath is one of the Coopers that you get to meet and play as in Sly... Sly what? Sly what? Uh, it's Sly 4. Sly 4. It's definitely Sly 4. I don't know why I couldn't remember what to say there. Doo -doo. Oh, okay, that was cool. I guess that my jump just didn't work. I don't know why. Go, Sly. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Do do. All right, definitely not jumping over three of those at a time. But anyways, yeah, each section also has a, a little build that's somewhat reminiscent of that Cooper member. You know, Sir Galath being a knight and all probably did jousting and whatnot. I assume that's what this is based off of. Where for Galath to get through, he probably just jousted right through them with his uh, joust cane, because his cane was kind of joust looking, like a javelin. Yeah, javelin, not joust, it's javelin. The name of the action is joust, but the item is javelin. Salim al Kapar of Arabia. It was said that he had the stealth of 40 thieves. That's another Cooper character we get to meet in Sly 4. Can't wait to play through that. I am going to take a break between this game and Sly 4, but I'm still going to do Sly 4 definitely, and I'm really looking forward to doing it. Does it actually mention every single Cooper gang member in uh, that you meet in Sly 4? We haven't run into... What are the other ones? There are five. Uh, oh, I bet, it I bet it mentions all of them except for, uh, Bob. Bob Cooper. One of the best Coopers there is. Definitely. Did I just go backwards? I just went backwards, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I was supposed to paraglide over there. Whoops. GG no re me. Alright, let's go, Sly. Don't miss a wall hooker. The game will punish you greatly. I know it will, because that's how the game works. Here we go. Now I'm going the right way. What Cooper is this? The strongest of the Cooper clan, Slay McCooper, could break any lock with a single blow. Alright, so yeah. The other Cooper, the five Coopers that you get to meet in Sly 4 Thieves of Times is Ryoichi, then Tennessee Kid, then, uh, who was after that? Tennessee Kid, then it's, then you meet Bob, which is a prehistoric Cooper, so, you know. He is not listed here. I think he's the only one not listed because he didn't actually... He was before the Cooper Vault was made because he was before Slight and Common. Yeah, Slight and Common the second to be exact. 